This is normal Star Wars Empire at War, and this is the realistic one. I am Rebel Admiral Rooster, and I am taking over the galaxy one planet at a time, fighting battles I shouldn't win. I follow this military doctrine, and am always on the run. The goal? To defeat the evil Imperial Admiral Dave. Alright and welcome back to Star Wars Empire at War, but it's realistic. My name is Admiral Rooster in command of the fledgling Rebel Alliance, fighting against the evil Admiral Dave of the Galactic Empire. In today's episode, we are going retro. Welcome back to the Republic at War series in which we are taking the ships of the Republic and we're bringing it to the Rebel Alliance. Say hello to the Venators. We've got multiple Venators, a lot of new ships to bring in in this episode, and we are going to take the fight straight to Dave. So getting right into the thick of things, I've got a fleet orbiting Manan with a couple Venators. I'm going to combine it with the fleet with Vice Admiral Leonidas over on Eridus, and we are going to charge at Dave on Atziri. He's digging this planet many times, but we're finally going to perform a siege and take him out from there. Moreover, we've got a whole host of of Venators which we can buy. I've got one ordered up right now. I'm gonna get another. I'll tell you guys about it shortly. So first things first, let's get a Pathfinder in this fleet. Let's get a Corellian Corvette and send you straight for at Ziri. I hope you guys are excited for today's episode because I am. It is so good to be back in action. Let's turn on all the things. Shout out to Captain Shaq. Wow, you're making a lot of money. Um, uh, okay. Dave is attacking, Darth Vader actually is attacking Concord Dawn, a planet which I don't like, a planet that is mildly well defended, but I am not going to fight over that space battle. We've got more important things. Uh, Darth Vader, you can take the space of that planet. Matter of fact, you can take it for a very short amount of time because I've got a fleet right next to you that I'm going to be charging right at you after this, <laughs> after this battle. Okay, so we're going straight for Atziri, and you guys are going to see the lovely new Venators we've got in store for you. So if you guys are joining us for today, we are playing Star Wars Empire at War, a fantastic real-time strategy game. We're playing the mods Awakening of the Rebellion 2.9, Rebel Sim 1.1, and now we just combined mods, and we are now also a part of the Rise of the Venators mod, in which our moderator of the Discord, Admiral Curse, brought in some new Venators to show off. So this is his own personal hero Venator. He's going to bring in. Looks slightly similar to mine, but it is a little bit different. It's got four Y wings that come out immediately, two B wings as well. Rear Admiral Curse was a clone admiral during the Clone Wars, serving alongside his brothers until the rise of the Empire, where he went into hiding in a hidden research facility. A talented officer, renowned for his unorthodox tactics and aptitude for advanced weapons research, particularly for his role in the Destroyed Project classified. So we've got a lovely new Venator in store which can help us out greatly with his many fighters. He's also got the Proton Beam Cannon and the Boost Weapons Power which is very similar to mine and Captain Shaxx of course which is what ours are based off of. So we're gonna bring in the Venators pretty close to the space station. Not that close or not too close but we'll get there. Meanwhile I've got my standard Venator which comes with the lovely X-Wings and Y-Wings which are unfortunately not in the description. <laughs> But I've got my X-Wings and Y-Wings with the uh, Rooster Rangers in addition to that. Let's bring in a Vice Admiral Leonidas as well with his Mon Calamari Cruiser. We've got quite the lovely fleet with the Venators and the capital ships. So, notably I saw that there's a Victory Class Star Destroyer, so we're probably going to have to watch out for that. We're bringing some GR-75s to heal up our ships. We're going to need it, and they can also provide some light screening. We're also bringing some CR-90s. All right, and we're back. After an unfortunate series of crashes because our hero, who is the amazing General Julian on our Discord server with a hilarious name, he is bugged currently, which resulted in a lot of crashes. But we are getting back into the battle, and we are going to fight in his honor. So we've got a lot of things coming straight at us. We've got victories, we've got Carricks, we've got fighters, and we have to deal with that immediately. Let's have my Venator immediately start hitting that victory. I'm going to have Curses as well. We're going to have the other, the MC-80 just hold fast. We're going to have the Y-Wings go after the Shield Generator, the victory. All X-Wings start targeting the Starfighters. And everyone else, to your discretion on who you're going to fight. Let's check out these X-Wings going straight for those ties. Oh my gosh. These lovely X-Wings that are super tanky and super helpful. We've also got B-Wings that are going to help us out as well. Let's charge up the Proton Beam. Hit the, uh, hit the Victory Class Cruiser really hard. And let's hit him with another Proton Beam. Speaking of which, hit him hard. Yes, beautiful. And they are retreating. Look at that. First battle is a win. 
We are absolutely destroying this victory. Oh my gosh. Now he will probably get away even though we're ion cannoning him and we're trying to take out his engines slowly. Although maybe he did. Maybe we actually took him out. Because because he was ion cannon pretty heavily. Maybe he was stunned. Maybe he can't retreat. We'll find out very shortly. But that's the, uh, that's the space station going down modeled after Rogue One. So let's see what we got. I don't know. It seems like he got away and the enemy lost us. I don't see anything. But that's at zero. So let's pause. Check out the battle agenda. What do we have going on here? We've got a prototype for a Republic Star Destroyer. Absolutely. Absolutely wonderful because we have a Republic themed episode today. We've got a pirate rescue on Rathana, which is a planet I think you guys have been talking about for a while. I'll definitely get to that. And then we've got a defensive structure for turbo laser defense. I think I'm working on that already. And then production facility, which is an alliance headquarters, which I can't. I can't do. When do I have to get Rathana? By week 365. So one year. Oh my gosh. We're almost one year into the campaign. We literally are. I, I just realized that. We we literally are almost one year into the campaign. Where is Rothana? Rothana is here. Do I have access to Rothana? Can I actually get there? Like if I can my fleet no. No, we have to blast through maybe Gamor and then to Ruthana. That's fine. Yeah, we can do that. We'll just build up some more Venators. I think Concord Don is probably going to get attacked, going to be attacked on the ground, which is fine. Let's bring in Yandodana. I want you to go counter Darth Vader's fleet over there. Uh, yeah, Concord Dawn is under attack. What do I have on Concord Dawn? And uh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it's not worth it. We took out two AD-80s in exchange for a New Republic barracks and uh, New Republic local administration. That honestly was pretty worth it, and we'll uh, we'll counter Dave quite shortly or Vader. We'll, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take I'll take our odds with this one. We've got his fleet versus ours. We've got MC-80s. We've got Yanda Dana. All we need to do essentially is focus up on the Star Destroyers. And actually, now that I'm saying this, this might spell the end for Darth Vader. I just realized that. I talked about this before, how I want Vader to have a pretty fitting end and epic battle. This might be it. I noticed that there are a lot of Starfighters on top of the Star Destroyers. So what we need to do is, is hard counter these Star Destroyers. So we need our MC-80s on the deck. These guys are going to be fantastic at providing us with the anti-capital ship shields and then some anti-capital ship weaponry. They'll be doing a lot of that work. Now, in terms of our supporting fleet, let's get Jan Dodana, who can provide his Admiral bonus. He'll be able to support the fleet from the back line. In fact, in fact I want you to go to the super-duper back line because I think Vader is probably going to target you, Stat. Moreover, let's get some Quasars. You can provide some some light fire support against the fighters that are coming in. Okay, we've got fighters. Okay, let's get some ball cruisers then. Let's get some ball cruiser carriers to bring in some some fighters and to provide some defense against the fighters that Dave is going to bring in. And um, let's get an MC-30. Oh man, I just realized this fleet again. This is a fleet that is very much low on star fighters. I know I've been recommended bringing in the, the Nebulon B, which can provide some missile deflection. Uh, and with its, with its many different uses, I think that'd definitely be beneficial. Uh, and let's bring in, we'll just bring in another MC-30. I think we've got a lot of anti-starfighter weaponry here. So we've got a stack fleet. We have a very much stack fleet and I'm not, not a lot of fighters, honestly. We've got the Mandalorian fighters that are heading right for us. What the heck? Start blocking their rockets, please. I don't want them to damage our our capital ships right off of the bat. That's that's not a good thing. Block them off. Stop them from doing any damage to our capital ships, please. And let's get our nebulons and our entire fleet actually right into action. Let's get the uh, let's get our guys up and at it. Anybody with weapons, pretty much, we got to watch out. Got to have you guys prepped up and ready because we don't have a ton in the way of damage support especially since we're lacking fighters usually is the uh, the rebel alliance we need a lot of fighters in this case we don't have any we, i mean we do have a lot from the ships but we don't have our own dedicated starfighters coming from hyperspace this is going to be a little bit of a a unique space battle i'd say look at this beautiful fleet we've got here look at this we've got the mc-80s you can see their hangars from over there <laughs> I think we've got some more pirates coming in. Seems like the Mandalorians, they really, oh my gosh, they really want to target us. 
Other Nebulon B, uh, do we have anything to stop these rockets? No, we don't. So let's get the A-wings. Let's get you guys intercepting. Let's get the T-wings as well. Please intercept these guys. I want their, their rockets to be messed up. Take out their missiles. Because they're going straight for our dude. Going straight for our MC-80, and uh, we don't like that. We don't want to deal with any sort of damage dealt by anyone but Dave or Darth Vader in this case. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe Darth Vader is still alive in the campaign. This is ridiculous. <laughs> still alive and still kicking. And he's he's slowly making his approach to our fleet. Yondo Donna, buddy, I'm kind of concerned for you. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have you pull back just slightly. Because I know Dave... Dave always loves targeting my heroes. He just knows that's exactly who I don't want to have targeted. And he just beelines it straight for him. So that's what's gonna happen probably. We'll see. Let's speed up time and get uh let's get an idea of what Darth Vader is going to bring in against our our ragtag fleet here for the Rebel Alliance. Oh, here we go. We've got Vader coming in. Okay, so he's got a lot of anti-starfighter capabilities. Actually, a ton. He's got a Star Galleon. This guy brings in a lot of turrets that can be used against our starfighters, which is a very bad thing, actually. It seems like our fighters are going to have to perform the duty of just defending our guys. Let's have the Nebulon provide some, some rocket defense, please. All Nebulons get close to the MC-80s. We're going to have a big problem that is the... Uh, the missile launchers coming in. So let's get all the support craft, get close to our MC-80s, get close, super close to these guys, and provide as much fire support as you can. And then, uh, Yandodana, you just stay, you stay put, buddy. You stay right there. Let's get our fighters, get our fighters here and start intercepting the others. We have a big problem, and that is these fighters. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to hold fast here, guys. Hold fast and try defending our fleet as well as we can. The MC-80s can't do everything, unfortunately. But we can try to do a bit. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a lot of fighters. Oh, gosh. All of our fighters are just going to have to perform defense. <laughs> In this case, they're just going to have to defend against against all these other fighters and, and provide as much support as possible against Darth Vader's troops. Speaking of which, Darth Vader is taking out our MC-80. He is very much taking out our MC-80. Yonda Donna, I need you to retreat. Get out of that position. We're going to lose an MC-80 pretty fast. Let's start macroing our guys here now. All right, you, Mon Calamari Frigate, beautiful, good job. Keep hitting this one. Other Mon Calamari Cruiser, you go after that. Um, let's get our bombers in the mix. All right, seems like Vader is a bit of a problem here. Let's get our Y-Wings moving in, taking out his shields. Same with the B-Wings. Go straight for him. I know you guys are going to fly through a lot of a, a lot of anti-Starfighter weaponry because there are Ton Folks and Star Galleons, which is going to be a huge problem. And we're not going to be able to do this easily. We're losing this MC-80, and we're losing him fast. Oh, my gosh. MC-80, buddy. Do we have anybody who can help defend him? Our anti-Starfighter guys are not doing enough, it seems. Dodana, just stay stay close enough to provide some fire support for the fleet, but not too close. Oh, I see Vader. He's also flying in the mix. See, Vader is Vader's facing off against our A-Wings, and he is, he is quite the effective hero in his cruiser and in his fighter. So he's, he's causing a mess for our guys. But we're also causing a mess for his fleet over here. Speaking of mess, we just lost our MC-80. Oh boy. Okay, that's an issue. What do we have? We have... We have a problem. That's what we have. We can bring in an MC-80 Freedom, which will be able to shield leech Vader's ship. I'm going to try it out. I know it's a little bit buggy. It's a little bit of a buggy thing to do. But if we can shield leech Vader's ship, that means we'll be able to... We'll be able to siphon some of his energy into our weapon systems and we'll be able to do a lot more damage that way. I could have also brought in the MC-80 Justice that brings in some ships, some starfighters, and then also it brings in um, the shield bubble ability which is really nice. But I want to try out this this shield leech ability that might be able to save our fleet because our fleet is our fleet's taking a lot of fire guys. Our fleet is oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> that poor MC-80 oh my gosh. Alright come on yes yes beautiful yes take him. Take from him. Yes, steal his shields. Steal his shields. Yes, your weapon systems are powered up. They are really good. Okay, keep going. 
Oh man, we're losing starfighters to these town folks. You see these guys right here? They're causing a huge mess. You, MC-80 Freedom, start charging at them. Start causing a bit of a problem for uh, for Darth Vader over here. Is he still is he still kicking? Is he still in the starfighter? Or did we take him out? I think we took him out. Beautiful. MC-30s. I want you to start using, I don't know if you were even in range, my apologies. Start using your proton bombs and aim down at this interdictor star destroyer. Let's take him down, please. Start hitting him real hard. And let's keep moving. All right, beautiful. So our shield leech is moving around. <laughs> Dude, is, what a daredevil. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, just keep flying about. Keep flying around and keep distracting Darth Vader's cruiser while we deal with this interdictor star destroyer right here. I don't think that's the end of Vader's fleet either. So once this interdictor is down, Vader might bring in another ship, unfortunately. And that's gonna be a bit of an issue, I'm not gonna lie. Because we have to watch out, he might target Dodon over here. And that'll be a big problem. I want starfighters to start targeting Vader. My macro ain't as good today, it seems like. <laughs> I haven't been macroing these guys as well as I should. Let's keep moving this cruiser around. Keep bouncing around. Maybe, uh, is there anyone you can shield leech? It seems like no. We'll just have to wait until the next cruiser. But you keep spin spinning around. Keep dancing around. Darth Vader's cruiser right here. Oh, wait. Hold up. Shield leech from this victory right here. This victory that's destroying our MC-80. Oh, my gosh. Hold up. Oh, goodness gracious, thank goodness they're falling back. Okay, they're retreating. Keep hitting this guy. Take him down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Vader's engines. Hey, yo, homies. Focus up on Vader's engines. Oh, boy, okay. <laughs> I think he escaped. He escaped to, to fight another day, which, again... Uh, <laughs> I have to take out Concord Dawn. Absolutely not. I do not want to deal with Concord Dawn. We'll just, we'll just sit over it for now. Let me get the rest of the Republic fleet up and at it now that we're in this much better position. Okay, well done. Now we've got the Venators that are being built up. We've got the, we've got Adziri that's being currently blockaded. I can bring in the New Republic forces. I'm gonna have you guys kind of go over there and get ready for a siege. Let's do that. Let's get the siege up and at it, and let's actually get on Bakura, the Bakuran's shipyards, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can uh, you can provide us with some Bakuran Star Destroyers or capital ships. So let's get that up and at it. And speaking of getting something up and at it, we have been sitting on this planet for a long time, Iriadu, the home planet of Grand Moff Tarkin. And I've been wanting to take it down for a long time. A long time, because it was taken away from us for a while. And I'm thinking, we bring in our heroes, we bring in Luke, we'll be able to get it done. Now, what is this prototype? Where do we need to go? Republic Star Destroyer on DAC. Well, we've got, uh, we've got Mon Mothma there. <laughs> we just need the credits. Hold on, let's bring in the credits real quick. Alright, boom. Nice! Now we've got a Republic Star Destroyer in addition to our Venators, which we can bring into our fleet over on Adziri. We can just keep keep building it up for our guys. Let's grab our troops. Let's see what's going on, Carida. Carida, how you doing? You need you need a lot more in terms of defenses. Okay. Let's bring in these T-47 airspeeders and maybe have we'll have a general kind of hang over there and let's go to Iriadu. Let's go take out this planet. Moff Tarkin, you've been sitting on this planet for a long time. In fact, Moff Tarkin is actually gone. <laughs> he is very much gone past the... Uh, we're, we're far past a new hope at this point in the timeline. But his uh, his home planet is still quite steady. Let me turn on all the things. Shout out to Captain Shaq. And let's, uh, let's keep trying to boost up our income while we're waiting for our troops to get over to... Adziri, Rothana, Iriadu, etc. We need to break through Gamora, I think, for these guys. So how are my Venators doing? Do we have a lot of Venators? Do we have the new new Venators at all, or are they still coming in? Are we waiting on them? Is this them? It is. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, let's get this fleet moving. I'm going to have you guys go straight to Gamora, and let's perform a siege on Adziri for the last time. <laughs> for the last time. We have fought over this planet so many times. I am absolutely... <laughs> I do not want to do this again. Let's go grab our locals. All the locals, you guys charge up right to the front. Let's get the New Republic troops. I want you to go straight at them. Let's get uh, 
Yeah, let's let's go straight. Uh, New Republic S. A lot of tanks, a lot of forces. I want to move faster. I want to move far faster with this. So let's get these New Republic guys up and at it. I want the locals to just charge right at the Empire while we can, since you know. There have been many battles on this planet, many times, and we have had to fight over and lose it so many times. So you guys can finally see the uh, the new New Republic forces, which I, I boosted ever so slightly, um, ever since the last episode. Because I checked it out, I tested them and everything, and noticed, yeah, they're not, <laughs> they're not that great, unless they're in like really high numbers. So I boosted them to make them far more competent. So you guys will... You guys almost certainly like that. We're gonna get the locals charging up. We've got a, oh my gosh, we have a prison break. Beautiful, excellent. Okay, let's move the New Republic guys up and at it. Get you guys on the ground, increase your fire rate, and let's start moving in. Beautiful, look at that crazy fire rate they have. Now, now they're good. See, now they can actually put forth a lot of fire against the enemy, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we've been waiting for, something that's actually good about these New Republic forces. They're a little bit on the slower side in terms of their walking speed, like they take a while to get into position. But once they do, man oh man, do they pack a punch. Now let's watch out, we've got a lot of, oh my gosh, we have a lot of Imperial forces coming in. I charge these guys way too heavily. Let's get the locals moving. Get all the locals up and at it. Let's save our tank. Let's get every single local force, every single trooper running in. Because our tank is currently taking a lot of fire. New Republic guys, just keep pumping in. Our tanks, keep hitting them. Do we have anything that's fast enough to get to our tank to help him out? Yeah, let's see if we can do something here. Let's get some APCs, get some speeders. Anybody who can help this tank. Come on, troops. <laughs> Look at them. They're being suppressed, but they're charging in to save this guy. Now that is heroism right there. Hit these troops. Hit them. Come on, New Republic guys, keep hitting them, get in there. Get in there and move fast, save our tank. Speeders, go! Get into the battle. Move in and move fast. Save this tank. Operation, save the tank! Save the tank! We're just gonna have the New Republic troops just move in. Move as fast as they can and fire as fast as they can. We need help against everyone because the tank is going down. Our tank is taking so much fire. Speeders, speeders! Go in. Human shields, go. Go and defend that tank. No, no, he's taking fire still. He's literally got a sliver of health left. Beautiful, keep moving. Everyone, move in. Move in and defend this guy. Oh my gosh. This tank, I don't know how you survived, man. I don't know how you did it. But wow, that was an incredible battle. Beautiful. Adziri is finally ours. And hopefully permanently ours. Because <laughs> I I do not want to keep taking that planet over and over and over again. Let's get a rebel fleet right on to Adziri defending it. Let's save. And let's keep moving. Let's take out Iriadu next. Uh, yeah, let's take out Iriadu next. I was kind of... I was second guessing myself, to be honest. Because I'm, I'm a little bit... I know this planet is not too well defended. But I, I saw... <laughs> I saw all those different... Uh, structures and I was like, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> but, don't but don't worry, we've got Luke Skywalker, the Jedi Master, who's going to boost up morale to the nth degree. Let's get a tank on the ground as well, but right now I kind of just want... I just want some troopers that can either defend the tank, so we'll get Ren Renegade Squadron, so we'll get Renegade Squadron to defend the tank, and um, let's just have our Gunslingers, so um, Kyle Katarn, Lando and Han and Chewie, you guys, let's have you guys uh, accompany Luke and start taking out some important structures while the honor guard kind of stick around with the tank. Maybe Leia, you come with as well. I think you're, you do some pretty high damage. So all you guys, all the heroes of the rebellion, charge in please while the honor guard and all of the, all the other grunts are actually really elite soldiers. I want you guys to stay by the tank and defend it against they provide some sort of counterattack. We don't want that. I don't want that at all. Okay. So we've got all of our lovely gunslingers. The heroes moving in. We've got Oh no, never mind. No, they're not. No, they're not moving in. They're retreating. They are in fact retreating. No, we are not dealing with that. Everyone get on the ground. 
We need some guys who can be really good against taking out infantry. We'll get some suppression troops and more suppression troops and snipers. Okay, you guys keep running. Oh my gosh, what was that? We have a crazy defense. What is that? Dave, dude, <laughs> that's too much. There's no way we could even... We uh, Okay, I think the heroes can probably take it out. Uh, but oh my gosh, that's those are a lot of troops there. Let's let's have Luke. Don't go up. Don't go up. It's going to be a disaster. Just have our troops kind of snipe them out right now. Have Han and Kyle snipe, and then Chewie, Chewie, buddy, I need you to go take this ATST, please. Meanwhile, Luke, uh, see if you can defend him. I guess. So kind of defend him if you can. Maybe take out this tank while he runs in. Where's Chewie? Chewie, are you going after- Oh, you're going after that one. I want you to go after this one, buddy. This one's closer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you pull back. Luke, you just keep fighting. And then you guys provide a little bit of a cover for Chewie to fall back to. Chewie, just keep running. Keep on running. Beautiful. Luke took out a tank. Luke, uh, that might be too much infantry for you. That is way too much infantry for you. Keep running. Just keep on running. Fall back to cover. While our guys provide some some light fire support if they can. You run. Just just get out of there. You did enough damage with that lovely force ability. Okay. ATSD inbound. You guys fall back too. Oh my gosh, they're lobbing grenades at you. Fall back. Fall back. Get out of there. We've got we've got ourselves a tank, which will bring in uh we'll bring in some guys to heal that as well. Oh no. Are they coming in? Uh, is 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 Dave bringing in the forces? Oh, he is. Oh no. Oh, run. <laughs> oh, run. Get the tank up. Get the tank up. Gargantuan starts sniping the ATST. And all troops get ready for a fight. Uh, no, you guys go. Or two, stay back. Okay. Let's get the honor guard up front. Honor guard, stay up. And then let's get our gunslingers up and running. Get into the battle, guys. I want you to take out as much infantry as you can. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at them. Look how much damage they do against the infantry. It's kind of hilarious, honestly. Granted, this is tier 1 infantry that we're taking out. But it's just wonderful. And they've got a shield, too, from Leia. Good job. Alright, all the rest of you homies, start moving up. Luke, join up with the pals. I'm gonna have you guys be group 1. And let's just start dealing with this problem ever so slowly. Let's see if you can take out this tank. You guys, hit this turret, please. Thank you very much. And help Luke out against this tank. Nice, nice. Good stuff. He is lifting it above the ground and smacking it back into the dirt there. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, our heroes are doing really well so far. Luke, just keep running. Keep sprinting. See if you can take out some infantry while we're at it. Don't worry, I won't forget about him. But I will, I will have him target some of the infantry while he can. Use your ability and run. Use your ability and run. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they still have a huge army over there. And our heroes are taking a lot of damage. Han, you get back. You fall back. Everyone else, do the same. Everyone fall back. Fall back. Their army is... It's too massive, man. <laughs> oh no. Let's just have our guys slowly, slowly reinforce our heroes. Oh man, it seems like, it seems like a lot of my troops are kind of spread out here. Of the snipers move in. And then ATST, Chewie, get up to the front, please. Honor Guard, you do the same. The Honor Guard, I, I don't know, man. I just love the Honor Guard in this mod. They're so cool. Uh, it's just nice to see the Rebels have their own elite unit. I know the helmets are kind of goofy with the Rebels, but I don't really mind it. A New Hope is my favorite Star Wars movie, I believe. Um... And just seeing those rebel troops, I got them in Lego form with the goofy helmets and all. I love them so much. I used to watch all these um, these Lego Star Wars stop motions when I was a kid. Oh my gosh! If you guys know pizza movies, for instance, uh, he was he was my childhood. He him and um, there's another one. I think his name was like started with an S. I forgot exactly, but it was Squad 42. Those guys. Oh my gosh! My absolute childhood. Now let's bring up the rest of the troops slowly and let's have our guys our heroes get to the front and Luke since you've healed up let's have you charge in please 
and start dealing with the infantry. Help out our guys. Oh, she was down. Help out our guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Quickly, please, quickly. I don't want you to take too much fire. Deal with them. Go after this group. Use your ability and maybe run. Let's see. Come on, come on. Oh, beautiful. Nice force repulse. Nice job, nice job. Okay, okay. Oh, my gosh. He is... He's using his lightsaber like a baton. My goodness. Luke, get out of there. You're taking a lot of fire. I see that. Keep running. Run, run, run. Oh, boy. Our tank is going to take a lot of fire, too. Hold up. Pause. Hold on. Luke, I'm going to need you again. Let's take out that turret. Let's take out that turret together, buddy. Take it down. Meanwhile, the rest of the heroes, besides Luke, defend Luke. Defend him. Take out all the infantry that's aiming at him. See what you can do here. All troops, move in. Where's Chewie? Chewie! Chewie, do what you can here, buddy. Oh, man, I don't want to lose any of the heroes. I'm kind of, I'm really watching them. I'm watching out uh, just in case because we do not want to lose these guys. Where's Chewie while I have him? I want you to grab one of these ATPTs if you can. Run as fast as you can, buddy. Run as fast as you can. I know you're, you're not, you're, I think you're old, right? Chewie's a little... <laughs> Isn't Chewie very old? Incredibly so. Yeah, buddy, I know. I know. I don't want you to run too fast or run too fast either. <laughs> I don't want to exhaust you. Well, let's get our troops up and running. Come on, Luke. Take out that infantry. Notably, I don't see any anti-air, so we could bring in our guys. If we could, <laughs> we've used up all the pop cap. So right now we're just banking on Luke to charge in while the rest of our troops just defend him accordingly. Get everyone up. Luke, use your force repulse. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice work, man. Nice work. Should we take this ATPT, please? Speeders, get out of there. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Oh my gosh. Here comes Han Solo. Just soloing these Imperials. Taking out an entire platoon. And there we go. We got Chewie in the front lines. Hitting the infantry as well as possible. As well as he can. While the rest of our forces just kind of come in. Bring it in. Full swing. Come on, boys. Come on now. Let's get everyone up and at it. Luke, use your ability. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He just sends them flying. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Tank, watch out. You're going to take a lot of fire from things you don't want to take fire from. How are my heroes doing? Am I losing anybody? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm hoping not. <laughs> Let's get the honor guard up, charging up, please. I don't want you guys, I don't want anybody to not be, uh, not be fighting. You gotta keep moving in. Iriadu is a tough fight. It's a tough battle. Hey, Luke, let's, uh, let's take out this infantry in the rear, huh? Okay, okay, you did. Oh my, oh my gosh. You deflected that thing, you reflected it. Nice job. Alright, use your ability. Let's take out that, uh, that building while you're at it. And let's start hitting these guys hard. Take out that hypervelocity gun. Thank goodness we didn't have to fight over this planet in space. You know how much of a disaster that would have been if we did? Oh my gosh. That would have been quite the problem. Let's get the honor guard fallen. Let's see what's... Do we have anything else? Oh, yes we do. There seems to be a position right there. There's a bunker right here that's got some Imperials, guys. There are some Imperials over there. And here, too, potentially. There's a turret. Hope the honor guard is taking a lot of losses. Honor guard, <laughs> honor guard. Luke is here to help out. Good job, Luke. Good job. Beautiful. And then the Imperials are slowly being taken out. On run over fast. I want to see you use your lovely DL44. I love that weapon in Star Wars Battlefront EA. It was so cool. And I never played that game. I only watched people play it. Maybe one day. <laughs> right now, we took. Iriadu. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I think there's a fleet that's defending it. Nope, just just some money, money planets or money structures. That is a fantastic victory. We finally got Iriadu, folks. And now let's continue on with the Venators. All right, so now let's take out Gamora. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, this space battle results in a crash for my game which I don't know how to fix, to be honest. So we're going to have to auto-resolve. Pray that we can perform a rooster. Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, 
That's okay. We got a we lost a dreadnought and A-wing squadron, but we surely took out their space. We didn't lose any vendors, thank goodness. We did not lose any cruisers. That's a fine auto resolve in my book, and we're almost at Rothana. And we've got a uh, a new mission. We've got oh my gosh, a cargo raid over Rendili. Okay, we can do that. Um, we had a riot that was successful. Okay, Rendili actually is another drive yard, I believe, or a shipyard for the Republic at the uh, the time of the old republic in star wars so maybe maybe we can take that out let me turn on all the things again shout out to captain shack um because of the crash but we've got enough to finally invest in the final venator so we'll have two more venators off the line shortly let's take out gamor and check out what these guys have on the ground i don't have any eyes on what's going on there so we won't be able to actually uh, we won't be able to be too educated on the actual battle but we can at least perform a siege. So let me grab our lovely troops or what remain of them at the moment. We actually, now that I say this, now that I say this, we do have a full-fledged New Republic ground force coming from Kashyyyk that's going right off of the bat to our troops. I love it. Taurus is under attack. <laughs> Ooh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. By two ton folks, two victories, and two star destroyers, I believe Dave is going straight after all of my planets repeatedly. That's okay. We can we can defend it. We've got a, an Alliance medium shipyard. We might not be able to defend it fully against these, these massive Doritos, but let's defend this the best we can. We've got the Venator fleet coming up. We've got... Um, who is it? We have Jan Dodonna's fleet in the back end who can help out, and he will. <laughs> he will. You have to take out this fleet in the future. So we'll have this fleet kind of... We've got a little bit of a fleet here with some long-range artillery weaponry with the Liberator and the Twin Blade. And then we also have some of the, the close-range things. So we got the Dreadnought. We have our Starfighter. So it's actually a good... It's a pretty solid mix, to be honest. Let's, let's have our long-range guys kind of take point... Or don't take point. I want you guys to move up, though. Let's have you move up a little bit. And then we'll have the uh, the big, the uh, the dreadnought and the bulk cruisers. You guys can tank. I want you to take point. Meanwhile, do we have anything at the top left of Taurus? I don't think so for a mission. We won't go for that today. We're going to make this battle real nice and quick. See if we can win as best we can. We'll have this Corellian Corvette or this Corellian gunship. I actually, I'm kind of curious, what is the benefit of this Corellian gunship exactly? Why is it so good? I've had so many comments expressing how good it is, but it just provides rockets that are probably solid against frigates. But what else? What else can it do? We've got, oh boy, we've got two big boy star destroyers against our tiny fleet. I honestly don't know if we can do much. It's just another, it's probably a ton folk battle, to be honest. It's... Probably just going to be Ton Folks, because I don't think we have enough. We'll have the uh, we'll have our interceptor, our our bombers, and then the the T wings go after the Ton Folk. But besides that, I don't think we have enough. We'll have you guys just kind of charge at this Ton Folk straight ahead, dead ahead, please. Full steam ahead. Go after this guy. No, not the uh, not the victory. Let's get our Liberator, aiming right for him, and then the artillery as well. Artillery. Aim for this town, folk, please, and let's just have our fleet go right at it. Aim right for the enemy. Where is my, uh, oh, I've got a Corellian Corvette, too. See, I don't know what the benefit is to using the um, Corellian gunship over the Corellian Corvette, especially as the Rebels, because Dave, he really only uses um, the Imperial Star Destroyer. He really he doesn't use the frigates very much besides ton folks maybe the corellian gunship is good at ton folks let's see i'll have you i'll have you go about same with the hammerhead and the corellian corvette i'll see if you guys can do much damage against him but we'll have this this liberator target <laughs> ton folk none of our guys have made it through by the way nobody has made it through so far so maybe this corellian gunship it's your time to shine maybe it is i'll have you run the blockade go straight for straight behind the enemy and then have you point your rockets at him. Let's see. 
Yeah, uh, I don't know. He's got some heavy laser cannons that are doing a bit of damage, but not as much as I would hope for. We also have the hammerhead doing doing a little bit, and then our, our liberator that's really hitting. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys are doing... Okay, maybe I did underestimate you. Nice job. Oh, that's great. Let's have you get out of weapons range, though. Let's have you get out of there, especially you, hammerhead. Go. Leave this position, please. Y-wings, go straight for this Don folk. Okay, so now I see the benefit to the corvettes oh my gosh not just the uh corellian corvette but the gunship too and the hammerhead they're pretty solid at taking out these um these small frigates nice job all right guys you are probably not going to make it i don't even know if you'll be able to take this guy out frankly i want everyone to target this this town folk right here all everyone anyone with weapons i want you to go straight for this town folk don't let him escape please i i, I want to get something out of this battle let's at least get these let's at least get two ton folks let's at least get two where are the y wings y wings beeline it please where's the artillery artillery also keep shelling him buddy keep shelling him i need you to put some some serious damage into him oh nice the x wings and the z95s are breaking right through the fleet to hit him beautiful beautiful yes Yes, get the Y-Wings in there too. Y-Wings, unload. Take out that town, folk. That would be great. And then we have the space station just watching. All to resolve this, please. We took out the town, folks. We got both of them down, and now we can take out the rest of the fleet. We could probably mop it up pretty, I don't know, easily. But we can definitely mop it up now that the, uh, the fighter advantage is out of Dave's hands. See, it's just two victories and two Star Destroyers. Excellent. Uh, we don't want to lose Concord Dawn, although I do not like the planet. We don't want to lose it. So I'm going to... Let me get a Pathfinder. Uh, who can we... We'll have a Nebulon. You Pathfind. Let's retake Taurus. My god, it's like I'm fighting over these planets repeatedly. <laughs> Just constantly fighting over these planets. Uh, meanwhile, let's get the ground troops over on Gamor. And... Uh, Alright, let's, let's take out this tiny fleet on Taurus. And maybe... Well... We'll see. I, I'm kind of hoping that I can bounce back with the Venator fleet, just kind of charge forward with them, have the rest of the fleets defending us. I am definitely thinking ahead of myself because I am absolutely loving the fact that we are bringing it back to the Old Republic, which is where uh, the YouTube channel all started. So let's kind of see what we got here. We've got two Star Destroyers plus a Victory, so they're going to have a lot of missile capabilities. Dave is going to charge at us. We actually don't really need to worry too heavily but because there's a lot of missile work that's going to be done we don't want anything that um can't take it we need more tanks and we need things that can block the rockets so let's first bring in our lovely nebulons you guys will do a lot of the work and then let's get some profundities you have some pretty high hull health and that'll, that'll probably be pretty solid for us. And we'll drop Yandadana all the way in the back. <laughs> Again, can't really use him very much. Um, I, I really want to use this MC-80 just this, though. It has a shield bubble, which I can use as soon as we need to defend our fleet. I really, really want to try that out. I'm going to have the Quasars sit back with Dodana. Just bring in their fighters, you know, as many as they can. And we'll even have our own kind of rocket boats and then some anti-starfighter anti, anti -starfighter support, which we are mildly lacking in. I'm not going to lie. Mildly lacking in. We'll use our fighters to do to do most of the work. Now, I've got... Oh, the MC-80. This MC-30, really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you are far away from the fleet. I've got this, this shield bubble here, which I accidentally just used. How do I... Oh, there we go. If you press shift and right click, you can stop the AI from using it automatically. Sometimes I notice that it uses it a little preemptively, um, which is a problem. As soon as the, <laughs> the, the cruiser takes damage, he immediately uses it for whatever reason. I don't know why the captain is, is so worried. <laughs> but because of that, I need to watch out. I, I need to be the one actually using it. At least at the beginning. I don't want... Um, my guy to waste the ability on just some small damage. I really need to make sure he uses it effectively. Let's have the Nebulons take point. They're going to be doing a lot of the work in terms of dealing with the rocket fire, which we are taking as I speak. Let's let's start missile jamming, please. Let's start jamming these rockets. I, I don't want them messing with our guys. We've got 
Star Destroyers inbound, but we also have our own fighters, which is fantastic. As a matter of fact, because we have a ball cruiser that can deal with the fighters, let's just have our fighters go straight into the fray. X-Wings, target the shield generator, the victory. That's going to be our biggest problem. Same with the, same with the Y-Wings. You do that. Meanwhile, the rest of the fighters, besides the T-Wings, I want you to go and try to take out these, these TIE Interceptors right here. Oh my gosh absolutely obliterated my goodness okay good good now we're taking a, a whole heap of fire from the star destroyer excellent pop the shield bubble please and start defending our fleet meanwhile what i want to do is since we have the shield bubble let's charge up let's move up just just ever so slowly ever so slightly i want to charge up and i want yeah i want you mc30 to immediately target that star destroyer meanwhile everyone else did I not did I not select everybody? Everyone else, move forward, please. Move forward. Oh, <laughs> the pathfinding. Oh my goodness. Oh, the pathfinding. Okay, you know what? Do not move forward. Uh stop moving. Please stop moving. <laughs> please stop moving. Keep that shield bubble intact, buddy. Oh no. Oh no, he's only got a little bit of the shield. Okay, so we have a little bit of a disaster here. Uh I can't. <laughs> I can't bring the shield bubble up. That's okay. He's defending at least part of the fleet. Move up, please. Move up. And we'll start hitting this guy. All right, we're, we're in the thick of things. Let's just bring the fleet up. These two MC-75s, you can do a lot of damage if you get up close. So that's what we're going to have you do. Get up close. Uh, Nebulon B, make a beeline for <laughs> the rear. Get out of there. And I want, I want the T-Wings. T-Wings go straight for this guy's tractor beam. Take that out if you can, please. And then full salvo him. And you full salvo as well. Start hitting that fleet hard, please. Start hitting it really, really hard. Meanwhile, the rest of the Nebulons just kind of sit back. You keep targeting his hull and just hit him really hard. And you spin around that fleet. Oh my gosh, well done. Well done. X-Wings, you got ties inbound. Uh, A-Wings, try to see if you can take them out as well. I'm, I'm missing them, but try to see if you can take out those ties. I know you're good at it. Got Interceptors inbound. Keep moving in. Keep moving, MC-75s. Keep on running. The rest of the fleet is taking out the uh, the support craft. Beautiful. Beautiful. I, I think you have Ion Cannon weaponry, so try to see if you can use it. Y-Wings, use your Ion Cannons and target whoever's close. I think the... Uh, the victory right here. Start hitting him with your ions and try to take out his engines if you have time. Meanwhile, it seems like we've ioned the, uh, this, this lovely interdictor star destroyer. I don't know if he retreated or not. <laughs> I don't know if he got away. We'll see. But if he didn't, oh, he didn't. That is a fantastic victory. Oh my gosh. Nebulon bees. Seriously underrated. Let's, let's actually order more <laughs> while we're at it. I, I really need those. I really love them. Nebulon Bs, they're the backbone of the Rebel Alliance, besides the X-Wings and the Starfighters and all that jazz. They are so clearly fantastic. Well done. Now we've got Gamor. We've got ground troops on Gamor. Bothawai is also being defended by a pretty extensive garrison. Uh, okay. What was I saying? <laughs> pretty extensive garrison. Uh, it seems like majority of these troops that are going to be fighting on Gamor are going to be the mid-tier Rebel Alliance forces, which I'm okay with. We don't always have to be using the New Republic troops. I know I sent them our way anyway, but we can absolutely... Oh my gosh. What is going on? Who are these guys fighting? Are these hut? Hut buildings? Gamorian dwellings? Spawn a limited amount of Gamorian guards? Hold up. Hold up. We've got troops inbound. What the... What the heck? We've got speeders! And these are some, like, thick speeders, too. They're probably pretty well defended, maybe? We got speeders on the ground. Let's get some APCs down. Maybe. I just realized. I think APCs crashed my game. Let's not get APCs. <laughs> let's get let's get some actual tanks. Bring them down, and let's use our transports to deal with this mess. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Please, hit this guy. Hit the transport. Transport. Hit him right here. Hit the, hit the speeder, please. Hey, you know what? All right. Beautiful art. Our troops are hitting on the ground, hitting pretty hard. Well done, man. This feels like... This feels so criminal. <laughs> this doesn't feel like the Rebel Alliance at all. We should be liberating these homies. We should not be taking them out. You know what? That's all right. Oh, wait. 
Oh, that makes so much sense. This planet's name is Gamor. Named after the Gamorian guards. This is where these homies are from. Oh my gosh, and you're all melee. Oh, you're melee and you're slow. Oh my gosh, that is so unfortunate. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You were probably the least helpful unit on the ground without support. I say that now, but we actually, they have... They ran through a bunch of fire, and if they didn't hesitate, they actually would have gotten to my troops. And probably would have done a, a serious amount of damage. Alright, I take it back. Let's let's try to see if we can use the speeders effectively, and maybe let's distance ourselves from the Gamorrean guards that are present, and use some snipers. That'd be pretty, be pretty messed up. <laughs> That's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. We use the snipers to keep them away. <laughs> and since the snipers are pretty fast, the uh, the poor Gamorrean guards can't really do anything. That's, <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, we don't have a lot in the way of a ton of tanks. We do have the best tanks that the Rebel Alliance can field. Not the New Republic, right? We've got T4Bs that we have access to. But for the Rebel Alliance, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, this is pretty much the best of the best. And as such, I don't think we'll have too much trouble with this planet, but you guys saw how it was stacked on the ground. <laughs> there were so many, so many troops on the ground, in addition to the local Camorian guard population. Um, oh my, oh my gosh, tanks! Tanks, get down! We've got a whole lot of tanks that are doing a little bit of fire to you. They're not, they're not hitting too hard, but hey, watch out. Infantry, you guys... You guys get down, take cover, and just slowly approach. Because you guys are, uh, I think the term is squishy. Yeah, <laughs> you're not you're not particularly good with uh, dealing damage. Meanwhile, we've got our second ground troop force. I want you guys to capture this command post, please, as quick as you can. Speeders, get over here. Get it fast, and then we can flank this small infantry squad of pirate gunners. Look at these guys. Oh, man. Oh man, they're taking a lot of fire. I've never played as the Black Sun in this uh, in this game, Awakening of the Rebellion. They are the uh, the criminal organization uh, composed of a lot of different groups: the Huts, the Droids, I think, the Gamorrean Guards. <laughs> they're 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 quite extensive. I've never tried them out before. Maybe one day I will. Um, but at the moment, no. They're they're pretty pretty not familiar with them oh my gosh i'm losing a tank hey pull back pull back speeders speeders we've got infantry that we don't just have infantry it's not just infantry it's tanks it's tanks hey yo apcs help out snipers get down there are dogs i hear dogs oh my gosh oh my goodness now boost speeders do what you can fire into that smoke that is a mess oh no and i'm losing tanks galore a tank. There is a tank that is that is literally entering our lines here. What are you doing? <laughs> nice job. All right. Get these APCs out here. They can also do some pretty solid work with their ion cannons. It seems that we've found the rest of the... Wow. Wow. <laughs> we found the rest of the Gamorrean Guard and just the entire local force. I mean, look at this mess. Despite us flanking them, we we need suppression troops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, every single weapon we have needs to be pointed at these guys. They are charging in. They are charging right at us. Look at these Camorian guards. Oh my gosh. I want to see how much damage they do. And our snipers are right at the front. Oh my. Looks like the gunners are, are suppressing them pretty hard. Really decreasing their their speed, but oh, they're getting real close. They're getting close to my guys, and there's some bug that's flying around here. Oh, my snipers are taking losses. Oh my gosh, those Gamorian guards are good. Hey, hey, <laughs> gunners, guys, take them out, take them down. They're taking out our snipers. <laughs> oh my gosh, we need uh, well, let's get some back to. <laughs> nah, dude, that was awesome. I lost a few troops there. My bad, but <laughs> that was pretty cool. We even lost the command post and tanks. What a crazy wave that Steve just sent. He's actually taking out a majority of my tanks and my troops with these dogs. Oh my gosh. 
Are we playing Rome Total War? What is this? It's it's just a huge wave. Hold up. Hold up. Let's get some more standard infantry. Oh my gosh. Get a bombing run. Get a bombing run. They're going to run out of there. Let's get some troops. Where are the, where are the Y wings or the B wings or whatever we got? Oh, wait. Hold up. Put it right here. Right there. Wherever you guys are spawning in. Who's coming in? We got H wings. Oh, beautiful. Oh, fantastic. B-17s. Jeez, wow. You guys really lit it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> oh my goodness. We just took out all of those homies. I see one of my APCs. He is he is quite fierce right now after losing all of, all of his uh, his buddies. He is he is angry. But we took out pretty much all the Gamorians just from that one bombing run. That was excellent. Wow. I want all infantry. Get under the cover of this back to tank, please. Meanwhile, yeah, let's take out this anti-air that probably did a tiny bit of damage to the H-wings. Probably not enough, I'm going to be honest. Wow. Man. This game still surprises you. <laughs> Consistently. Consistently. So I've started a new rotation, because um, I'm in pharmacy, I started a new rotation in a hospital, and it's it's just totally different. Every single rotation is going to be new, but it's totally different. I'm waking up at 4 a.m. now. Oh, lucky me. <laughs> yeah. I'm waking up at 4 a.m. for it, and, you know, it's, it's doable. I'll wake up at 4 a.m., walk a short distance, uh, actually run. <laughs> And then I uh, catch an Uber, and I'll, I'll go to I'll go to work, and have a little bit of coffee while working on my patients. It's a it's a nice life. It's very peaceful, very peaceful. And having people constantly compliment you and everything because you're trying your best. It's it's a very sweet thing. Uh, you know, people are very people are very nice as soon as you tell them, as soon as you show them that you're trying your hardest. I love that. All right, let's get a bombardment. Let's get a bombardment. Cover our troops. All troops get on the ground. Uh, don't take too much damage, guys. Come on now. We know this. We know this already. Let's not be too aggressive here. We got a we got a bombardment coming in to help you out. Just stay on the ground. Don't take too many losses. Come on. Come on, come on. Get the APCs out there. Hey, they got infantry. They got a lot of infantry. Where is my bombardment? <laughs> bombardment, you did not do enough. We need a lot more tonnage. Let's get our guys out here. Let's get our speeders. Speeders, you can provide some some fast assistance, some fast laser fire, because we're losing a lot of troops. I mean, it seems like the locals are too, but no, 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 no. We are losing a lot of our guys here. Speeders! Nice. Nice. Throw those concussions. Beautiful. Now mop up the rest. Come on now. Oh, look at this. Minigun skiff. That is crazy. You see what I'm saying? I... <laughs> This is a fan-developed mod, and it's it's better developed than some video games out there. You know, and these guys just do it in their spare time. It's incredible, honestly. All of these little neat features and everything, they were brought together through creativity. And I was, I was realizing that uh, recently, um, while working on my thumbnails, a lot of the time, you can't just pop one out when you think for this game, especially, because this is my passion. It's just passion project. There's, there's no, nothing else besides that. And so, when I'm working on thumbnails, it's, it's purely, purely creativity. And it, it's, <laughs> it's just from me um, feeling inspired. And creativity, you know, it's, it's, it's a muscle, but it also, just like a muscle, needs to be rested. And so if you want to really enjoy what you do, especially a creative type of venture, you have to give time to allow yourself to miss it, to want to do it again. If you do it like a, like a nine to five, for instance, where you're doing it like every day, no, you're not gonna have as much fun. Because I, I, that's probably the reason why I enjoy this so much is because it's not like a job where I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to to do this every single day and to, to go crazy with it it's it's just i just do it because it's fun <laughs> and that's probably the best way to to enjoy youtube a pretty creative venture
Because sometimes the analytics will be down, sometimes they'll be up, and you just got to kind of wade through that. We did lose a lot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Three companies of T3Bs. Now, granted, granted, this was due to <laughs> voluntary foolishness. But I will admit, my gosh, that is, that's a disaster. Let's immediately go get an order. Let's make, well, actually, I don't have money. Let's make an order for ground troops as soon as we have the option to. Where are our T3Bs? We've got the tracked ones, and then we also have the hover tank ones. The hover tank ones are nice because they can float over water. And reconnaissance over Rathana. Oh my gosh! If for some reason, Dave really want or Dave, Mon Mothma really wants me to take Rothana. And Gorman is under attack. From the ground. From the ground? Gorman is under attack from the ground. We've got two AT-ATs. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Four anti-air tanks, three anti-armor stormtroopers, two army troopers, and then two field commanders. Oh, that's actually quite problematic. Because what that means... Mm, mm hmm What that means is we're going to have a lot of... We're going to have a lot of guys... Number one, we have a lot of counters. So the anti-air will counter our air. And they have their own air, which will be the TIE Fighters. So I need to put down, I need to put down some anti-air stat. Some flag cannons, quickly. Because they can take out our infantry. And that's all we got here in this battle. All we got is infantry. This New Republic barracks, it ain't bringing a lot, I'm going to be honest. It's not going to bring down a lot of troops. We can put down quite a few turrets, but it's probably not going to be extensive. Uh, wow, this is, this is going to be an interesting battle, that's for sure. Let's go get the New Republic troops moving. I want you guys to get moving and grooving. What do we got? We got a few turrets that are already online. We have the locals as well. Excellent. Please and thank you. Wonderful. You guys just start moving. Please just start running around and start looking for as many turrets as you can build. Just go find turrets. I'm lagging because Dave is bringing down his troops. I'm concerned. <laughs> I've got a rebel training facility. Okay. We've got ties that are coming in. As we speak, I didn't even have time to build a turret. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's insane. Okay. Uh, Dave is, is actually moving really fast. Do we have anything for anti-air? No. I don't even have my troops who are ready yet. Oh my gosh. Hold up. Pause. You. Can you target the air? Anti-infantry turret? Can you do that? No. No, you cannot. All right, you guys, you guys got to get out of there, man. <laughs> you guys got to get out of there. Uh, there's, you have no business there, to be honest. Seems like the New Republic infantry is stuck, uh, unfortunately. That is, that is really sad. Um, okay, that's fine. We'll just deal with that. Let's get, uh, let's get some more anti-air. Anti-air, anti-infantry, whatever we got. Let's hold off on sending in our snow speeders. The snow speeders are going to be good against the AT-80, and I don't want to waste them. So I'm going to have all snow speeders, actually. You guys just hide in a corner. <laughs> Go hide in a corner, please. And, uh, oh, here's our position. Beautiful. Here's our forward position. Let's get there, and you guys, uh, you guys get down. Get down. You're going to take a lot of fire. And I'm out of cash. I'm out of cash. Oh, man, I'm out of cash. You got to be kidding me. I'm out of money. Oh, no. We don't even have a forward position because I'm out of money. <laughs> oh, no. This is a disaster. This is a ter- Oh, okay. That is, that's not good. <laughs> All right, well, since I'm out of money, we got to pull back. Everyone... Everyone retreat back to um, our position. And let's just have, I guess, the snow speeders. Snow speeders do as much damage as you can. Quick flyby. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's take out this TIE fighter as well. All snow speeders aim for him. We'll have the flat cannon do, do some justice as well. Good. Good job, guys. Everyone else, huddle around. <laughs> there honestly is nothing we can really do besides hide. Hide by this turret. Snow speeders, we've got another TIE fighter inbound. Let's take him down now. We don't want our infantry dealing with that. Take out that TIE. Nice job. Nice job. We've got more TIE fighters incoming. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, so much infantry. Ooh, ooh. 
It's all infantry that Dave's got now. Oh no. Well, actually, hold up. Pause. Snow speeders, let's have you go and take out some infantry if you can. I know this might be a loss. Here's the thing. If Dave... <laughs> nope, nope, fall back. We're going to lose a couple of you. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's got anti-air. Oh, man. Anytime Dave brings in a snow speeder, he always brings in air. Or anti-air. Or what am I saying? Anytime Dave brings in an AT-80, -AT, he brings in a whole lot of anti-air. And that's the super good kind, too. Well, fellas, <laughs> we've got one anti-vehicle turret and just a, a bunch of you. Uh, yeah, that's all we got. We'll have the locals retreat. Locals, you just do what you can. I don't think you'll make it very far, so just kind of hang on that bunker. Provide some, some fire. And then <laughs> this is the rest of our force here. This is all we got. Let's see what we can do here. Do as much damage as you can, fellas. Do as much damage as you can as you can. We've got the New Republic troops. New Republic troops. Come on now. Come on now. Really start firing into them while you have while you have some shields. Some meat shields here. Do some damage while you have the opportunity to. Like, look at this. Okay. I see a few stormtroopers going down, but I also see that some of my new republic guys have taken damage. Oh man, no, they can't really tank very well. Oh no. When buffing them, I took the quote, I forgot from who, but in war, I forgot the exact quote, but in war 90, what is it, in war, 90% of people in war are targets, 9% of whom are um, soldiers, and one is a warrior, so I just made it so... All the New Republic guys, they're, they're pretty solid at what they do, but they need some targets. <laughs> they need some people who can be used as targets, or else they're going to go down pretty fast. We've got the AT-AT -AT coming in, and as soon as it comes in, these guys are done. <laughs> it, is, it is all over for them. We've got one anti-infantry turret, or anti-vehicle turret, but that won't do anything. Frankly speaking, though, we did take out a lot of the infantry so far. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We've got the... We've got this. The anti-air that has the anti-missile tubes. I need all troops. All troops start charging in. Start moving in. Let's get the, the New Republic guys. We start aiming down at this thing. Oh, no. <laughs> you have to move in right at him. Get under his anti-infantry weaponry because uh, unfortunately unfortunately for us um, if he uses that ability which negates the rockets you uh, you guys can't do anything so you have to go right under their anti-infantry oh good we've got a couple rocket guys hey hey hit this hit this hit this hit this gosh look at that model that's from rebels this ATAT -AT model isn't that beautiful my gosh, let me let me ogle at Dave's forces. I really want to fight as the Imperials, which I think I will shortly. I really want to fight as them because my gosh, auto resolve this. Let's get out of here. Oh hey, <laughs> we took out an ATAT. -AT. Oh look at that. Oh absolutely. Oh 100 percent. I will take that. Lovely auto resolve. Uh yeah yeah 100 percent. I'll take out an ATAT. -AT. Wow, we got a lot of the infantry though. We got a ton of the infantry using the uh, the New Republic guys. Oh goodness gracious. Now we lost Gorman. Dave, and I'm out of money. <laughs> Dave. Okay, okay. We've got an oh nice. We've got another Venator. This is the uh, the support variant. Bring it over and let's go straight for Rothana. Let me save. Let's charge straight at Rothana, please. At Ziri, you gotta be better defended, man. Oh my gosh. Dave is Dave is coming in and he is he is causing a lot of chaos here. We do not like that. Moncala, you're building up our last Venator. Fantastic. Alright, let's Let's keep using our money while we can. Let's let's keep investing here. Let's get some more. Let's get some more ground vehicles. Let's get us some more things. We'll take a. I want a T2B. I haven't used many of those. Our money situation is actually being siphoned out, notably. It seems like these guys are helping our money though. I think Dave's bulk freighters or his money freighters or anything like that. They help us, <laughs> which is a great thing. 
Um, okay, so you have to go to Elysia, Elysia for 394 credits. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, so the planet is right here. Okay, fantastic. Now we've got... Where's our new Venator? Where is it? Oh, he's still moving. Okay. All right, cool. So we're, we're just going to keep moving in with the fleets. Now we've got... On Bakura, we can finally get one of those Bakuran destroyers. Absolutely, please. Which will be fantastic for our interdictors. We've got a riot on a planet. Concord done. <laughs> My most hated planet has a riot. Absolutely. What the riots will do is actually let me just take all my stealth units dave can't do anything on iriadu i think he has no ground forces around so what the riot does is it'll destroy any of the uh, the ground facilities on a planet we're blockading which is fantastic or on the planet which we're blockading that's concord dawn that's fantastic for us because i don't want to deal with that planet <laughs> i have i have taken over that planet so many times and i just <laughs> it's like rothana which we're about to take over it's like rothana from republic at war but it's realistic it's just a planet that we kept fighting over repeatedly and at one point i finally saved i finally liberated so that's what we're gonna do let me get some more ground infantry which i need i think i need more of ground infantry and tanks we need more tanks kashik kashik please get us some more uh more tanks please i might need some artillery actually let me get some artillery and uh maybe we'll try out the uh, the new units speaking of which i think the new venator is in our fleet Yes, it is. Let's get a Corellian Corvette. I need more Nebulons. I need Nebulons to put in this fleet, actually. Oh, my gosh. Do I have... I don't have the cash to get a Nebulon yet, but I will shortly, and I will I will get it. Oh, no, the ride didn't work. Okay. Anyway, the Battle of Rothana commences. Let's get the Space Battle of Rothana. Now we've got two. Two of the three new Venators. Actually, three of the four new Venators with the hero coming into this battle, plus a Republic Star Destroyer, which... I did not plan for getting a prototype for the Republic Star Destroyer. Amazing. And then a few of our heroes, actually. Unfortunately, I got to fix this lovely one, but at least the name's funny. All right. Let's move in with this Corellian Corvette. Let's check out what we got here. So we've got a Venator Star Destroyer with the Striker loadout, four A-Wings and H-Wings. And then we have the Support loadout with... Oh, wow, X4 gunships and U-Wings. That is a really cool loadout. Then we've got Curses... Uh, Venator with all those nice X and Y wings and mine, which I need to update the description for. Mine comes with X wings and Y wings as well. So what is this? This is an abandoned repair station. Can repair fighters, bombers, transports, corvettes, frigates, cruisers, and capital ships that are close enough to it. Oh, interesting. Oh, right! Because Rothana is a shipyard. Oh, beautiful! Oh, yes, let's bring in the Venators now. Let's get my lovely Venator in here. Let's get Curse's lovely Venator in here. Let's get the Striker Venator in here and the Support Venator. Oh my gosh. And the Republic Star Destroyer. The new, <laughs> the new Republic Star Destroyer. Oh my gosh. What a battle. Oh, something tells me this might be a disaster. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I shouldn't have brought in all these new ships. But look at them. Look at all of them. We've got the new, the new generation of Star Destroyer. And then we've got the oldies, but the goldies with, oh my gosh, look at this guy. He's got H-wings, oh man. Ah, uh, let's get, let's get an acclimator as well. Oh my gosh, let's not, no, Y-wings, you stay back. Let's get, let's get some of the X-wings to capture the, uh, the acclimators. Oh my gosh, now this is a Republic fleet if I've ever seen one. All right, here's the plan. I want some cover, please. We got to start covering our guys. Let's get the A-Wings. Let's have you start intercepting these star fighters if you can. We've got a lot of different fighters around. Let's start clearing them out. Let's have our fleet just kind of just kind of slowly make its approach, please. Make your approach. Let's get some of the gunships in the air as well. All right, so everyone's everyone's here. My gosh. Everyone is here. All right, A-Wings. Get into the fray. Oh, there's the fleet. There is the fleet. That is, uh, that is, I, I, I think this is Steve again. This is our NPC Steve. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful. I've got an acclimator as well. Bring him to the front since he is a free ship. We will use that extensively. And on top of that, oh, don't make me uh, press that. And on top of that, let's get all of our starfighters that we get from our lovely, lovely Venators. Let's get them into the fray. Let's have you move in. Corellian Corvette. Uh, I don't know if I've been macroing you properly. Come back, please. Come back. 
Meanwhile, all the Venators get ready for a big attack here. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really, but we do have we do have something going on here. All Venators turn to face the enemy, please. We've got a whole lot coming in. And we've got an acclimator that's gonna help out. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh dude, this is rad. Oh my gosh. Okay. Beautiful, nice job using the proton beam. Even the Y wings are dogfighting because there's just so much. Hey, wait, whoa, 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 hold on a second. This is that modified freighter. No, hold up. I want all starfighters. All starfighters start retreating. And I'll tell you guys exactly what's happening right now, actually. All fighters perform a retreat. This thing right here can self destruct. And if it self destructs, it deletes all of our starfighters. All of them. Everyone get out of there. Everybody get out. Get out, and you, Acclimator, start hitting him. Boost your weapon power and take him out. Once he self-destructs, yeah, we don't want to be a part of that. We don't want to be close to him. Get all the fighters away and just start hitting him. Hey, you, hit him too. Hit him and stun him. Stun him. Get him away from our fleet. You, uh, no, okay. Oh, good. Hey, he didn't self-destruct. Beautiful. Excellent. Get the fleet back in. Get the fleet back in order. <laughs> Did I overreact? No. No, if you guys saw in the previous episodes, um, that thing destroyed my entire Starfighter fleet, <laughs> and so I am not, I'm not dealing with that again. Where am I? Where is, where is the Rooster Cruiser? Where's the Discipline? Oh, he's chilling in the back. <laughs> he's, I guess I have long range cannon, so I'm just, I'm just kind of chilling in the back here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's okay. That's all right. We've got this uh, Corellian Destroyer over here. This. Crazy frigate. Let's uh, let's have you guys target this guy here. Meanwhile, let's have the rest of our lovely fleet. I have you guys on hot key one. I want you guys to start moving in. Look at this. That's incredible. What an episode. Throwback to Republic of War, but it's realistic. I absolutely love this. <laughs> We've got a, um, it seems like there is a counterattack with a single acclimator coming in. Let's get our fleet aiming dead at him, and let's get our starfighters moving in, hitting his engines immediately. Y-wings, aim for his shields. Let's take this guy down. Let's take him out, and let's do it in style. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, the double proton beam. <laughs> nice word. Nice work. Oh my gosh, making quick work of this guy. Good job, fleet. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep grooving. We'll take out things as we move along. Let's have the starfighters, our, our just massive starfighter complement. Let's have you guys scout out here. Let's get the Corellian Corvette moving up. Boost your engines. And let's take a peek at what's going on in this direction. I want to get eyes. Oh my gosh, look at all these Venator class cruisers. Beautiful. Rothana, we have fought over this planet many times in the previous series, and now we're finally putting it under our belt. Um, huh. It seems like this massive space complex has just a few laser cannons that are hitting our starfighters, but for the most part, not too much. Not too much. It's doing a tiny bit of damage to our Corellian Corvette, but oh my gosh, what is that? Gravity well. Oh, wow. I couldn't retreat if I wanted to. <laughs> hey, let's take this thing down now. Uh, just in case Steve brings in something that I don't want to mess with. Let's take that out now, and let's not deal with the space station just yet, Fleet. We've got whatever I just targeted over here. That was the, the healing station, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the healing station. Hey, you, you are, you're running way, way too far up. Rooster Cruiser, go assist him. Same with you. Um, but you guys, yeah, take out that, that repair dome. Meanwhile, here, fighters, start hitting this thing, please. Start aiming at that gravity well in case we need a retreat. In, in case anything happens. Anything could happen, you know. In case we gotta go, I want the option to go. I want starfighters to start providing support for our uh, Venators. That includes the A-Wings. A-Wings, come over here and start intercepting these guys. They're doing a little bit of damage to our Venators. We don't want that. We don't want our fleet to take take too much damage. Aim for this Marauder. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we 
Wow, man. My favorite ship in Star Wars. Besides the X-Wing, I mean, probably, they're probably tied, the X-Wing and the Venator. Maybe the Venator's a little bit higher because of Clone Wars, because I love the, uh, the Lego Star Wars UCS Venator-class Star Destroyer. But I'd say the, the Venator and the X-Wings are pretty incredible for Star Wars. All right, did we get this gravity well? Yeah, we did. I think. No. What is what is this? Did we capture? We captured it. <laughs> we captured the gravity well. Okay. Let's send the fighters in. Let's do exactly what the Venators would have done in the Clone Wars. Let's send our star fighters in first. Have them take out that space station while the rest of the fleet just kind of engage at long range. A-wings, provide some support. Take out these star fighters if you can. Um, yeah, you three take out those starfighters. You, oh, defend the fleet. Don't, don't charge up front. You will not make it. Meanwhile, A-Wings, boost your engines. Start aiming at these guys, please. They're probably going to intercept our starfighters. At least try to. Oh my gosh, you guys are fast. Oh my gosh, these A-Wings. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Let's get the A-Wings back. Have you guys charge up. The fleet is moving up. Let's start hitting them at long range, guys. Start hitting that fleet. Start hitting that space station. We are going to take Rothana with our almost complete Republic fleet. How was that rhyme? <laughs> Alright. What do we got here? We got some freighters, too. Yeah, we got some freighters. Let's get some point defense. Nope. Let's not get some point defense, I guess. We'll just... <laughs> We'll use these gunships that have three Y-Wing engines strapped to them, which is absolutely ridiculous, man. I don't know what the heck is going on there. Oh, I just realized that the um, most of the Venators, besides I think mine and the other hero curses, are going to be uh, most effective at short range. So they're going to they're going to charge in. Uh, good thing I caught that now. They're going to charge in pretty pretty aggressively. <laughs> Which is a good and bad thing. Um, if I'm good or if I'm conscious of the macroing that they require, it's a good thing. But if I'm not, eh, it's a bad thing. All right. Now that we've got things kind of steady, let's bring in a liberator, please. Let's get a liberator out here. There seems to be a little bit of contact, enemy contact here. So liberator, start dealing with this. I saw some lasers firing. Turbo lasers there. Yeah, let's get your cutlasses getting in there. Yeah. Get those cutlasses in there. Is that all you got? Cutlasses and X-Wings and then a Y-Wing. Okay, that's good. That's good. Bring them in. And then let's mop up the rest of this fleet fighters. Mop it up. Mop it up. All right. Seems... Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful victory. Oh, my gosh. And now we just got to take the ground. Look at the ground, though. We've got an outpost, which is fine. It's a tier one outpost. But we have... A large landing platform, which means I need some serious anti-air. Do I have any serious anti-air? Uh, yes. I, oh, thank goodness. Yes. The T1Cs. I absolutely adore those. They're great at both taking out infantry and taking out air units, which would be so good for us. That would be so good. But we honestly don't have enough in terms of tanks. Uh, let's go grab all the forces from Atziri. Oh, you know what I really wish I had? Uh, hmm. Well, um, probably better defenses on Carida. <laughs> um, yeah. You know what I wish I had, though? <laughs> what I wish I had were some ATTEs. I think I can mod those in. No promises. I, I don't know how hard it would be. But I think... Uh, I wish, at least, I wish I had ATTEs to bring on the ground for the Venator fleet. We'll see what I can do in the future, but right now, oh, that would be nice. Maybe Curse, in future iterations of his mod, will bring in some of those. Our freighter convoy was intercepted. Move them to the marked location so they can escape. Oh, beautiful. They won't make it. <laughs> this is a mission that I've done before, and, well, actually, I got before out of luck and totally missed. I thought they were just here to help fight. Apparently, these are practically unarmed freighters. Maybe they have a laser cannon or two, but I brought them right into the fight. And I was like, oh, great. Yeah, we got 
uh, some hired help, you know? I mean, the Rebel Alliance would take anything with a gun, right? <laughs> like, in the real life, they'd probably, you know, if they, uh, if they asked for assistance from the folks from Earth, they'd be totally cool with <laughs> just a dude <laughs> with, like, a slingshot. <laughs> if they can get anybody, it's not even a gun, but if they can get anybody, they, they take it. Um... And so I thought, yeah, man, I'll take these freighters. <laughs> Look, this one has two medium dual laser cannons. Like, come on now. This guy, he's got a proton torpedo launcher and point defense. Like, that, that's something. <laughs> and so I, I threw them right into the battle and totally failed that mission. Um, but don't worry. We don't have to worry about the past no more. We're focusing on the future. And I want everybody, everybody with a weapon, not the freighters, I want you guys to either target the Starfighters or target the Ton Folk. So we've got some Y-Wings, we've got a Bolt Cruiser, uh, Corellian Gunboat. Now that I understand your value just a tad bit more, I want you to go. I want you to go beeline it straight. Straight for that Ton Folk, buddy. Go straight for him. And just hit him. Actually, boost those engines now, please. Boost the engines and just get in there. Oh boy, X-Wings, you gotta help out, man. You guys gotta help out. This is not looking too good. These Starfighters are doing a lot of nothing. Our Starfighters are doing a lot of nothing, so you gotta do something. Beautiful, beautiful. Good job, my Hunters. Really hit those Ton Folks now. Meanwhile, Y-Wings, go get them. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Bulk Carrier or Bulk Cruiser? Actually, kind of go up front. You can help out our Y-Wings against against the starfighter mess beautiful nice job okay you guys you guys bounce around and aim for this ton folk now nice job all right you go for this ton folk bring in all your weapons all your guns straight to the ton folk meanwhile the y ones are doing the best they can we've got bombers coming in at our guy god look at that dave is actually employing his own starfighter he's doing really well i lost a corellian gunboat unfortunately but hey uh, oh my gosh, these freighters are slow. Why? <laughs> are you serious? You had to go the whole way around? Dude, are you not gonna make it? You're not gonna make it. We can try to defend you against these starfighters just a tiny bit. But there's no way you're going to make that. Here, you guys, uh, go up to the hangar bay if you can. There's really nothing you can do, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'll let you guys kind of... Do what you can, and I'll, I'll focus on the freighters now. Look at these freighters. See? Look, they have weapons. They have weapons. They can help out in the fight just a tiny bit. Granted, they can't help out a lot. But, you know, they can help out a little bit. Bring the uh, the YT-1300s. I think you guys are faster. Uh, don't go at the speed of the fleet. Go at the speed of yourself. So if you're fast, go. All right. I don't need, I don't need you guys to be slowed down by anyone. Just keep running. Just keep running, because I'm losing so many of you right now. You're getting ion cannon, you're getting hit. Uh, you know, that's not a good thing. We'll have the starfighters, the rest of our fighter force, kind of help out um, defending you. <laughs> Look at this escort mission we got going on here. Mission escort these freighters. Oh, this bulk freighter, he is. Dude, you are not. <laughs> you are not. You're not at the speed that we need you to be going. The fighters will try to defend you as well as they can, but what the heck are you doing? Oh, look at the Y-Wings. Rarely do you see them dogfight. I think in the last battle I had them dogfight a tiny bit, but rarely, rarely do you see them. Come on, freighters. You especially, buddy. You got this. Come on now. Oh, they're making it. They're almost there. Keep going. Oh, my gosh. Cutlasses. Cutlasses help out. The Y-Wings are all that's left. Go Y-Wings. Oh my gosh, go Y-Wings. Yeah, go defend our guys. Nice job. Oh no, the other squads are down south. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got another set of Y-Wings. Oh man, let's see. See, oh man, look at that fire he's taking. Where are the fighters? Hey, fighters, take out these TIE bombers, or the TIE interceptors if you can. Go defend our, our lovely bulk cruiser, or our bulk, bulk freighter. Oh man, these Y-Wings ain't doing it. Uh, tell me, in the comment section, if I use the ion cannon, which can fire uh, 360 degrees, um, does that do any damage at all to the interceptors? Does that slow them down or anything? Does that 
do anything, a debuff. Because I, I know that they're fantastic against capital ships, but what is their benefit against the, um, the Starfighters, if any? Because I've been, I've been thinking about that for a while. I've been quite curious. Now, Carida, Carida, you probably won't make it. <laughs> My gosh, I'm losing so much cash, like consistently losing cash here. Uh, just because I, I just keep buying things. I just keep investing. Move, move, more, 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 more. Get these ground troops. You, you've got ground troops. Actually, no. Stay on Bothawai. I don't want to leave you undefended. Let's get these guys. Hey, can you actually go hang out on Carido's ground? Where are my heroes? Heroes, 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 heroes. Uh, yeah, let's get, let's get the generals on Carido real quick. Same with our other heroes. Go to Carido. See if you can really quick. And I'm not going to bring our actual heroes on the ground, but I'll bring some of the other guys. Who do we have on Rothana? Yeah, okay. We have other ground troops coming in? I think so. I think we have other ground troops coming in. And the final Venator has been built as well. Come over, please. Oh, that's a good sound. Oh, that's a good sound. You guys will know in the next episode. That is a fantastic, fantastic sound. Because that means we're going to have something coming in quite shortly. Oh, beautiful. We just need to get the uh, the next tech up. Do I? I don't have enough, though. Oh, my gosh. Dude, the money situation. What is going on? I am actually really low. We got heroes that can defend here? Yeah, let's get some stealth troops on the ground who can help defend. Let's get some generals who can provide some air support. Generals, 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 generals. Go defend Kerida if you can. And then, um, oh my, what was I doing? <laughs> oh yeah, investing in our new tech. Let's check out, Kashyyyk, do you have anything being built? Yeah, you do. I'm gonna sell. <laughs> Dude, we're so broke that I have to start selling old units here. Just to be able to afford our tech. Okay, we can afford it, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I just don't have anywhere where I can build it. Here. Uh, yeah. Is there anywhere else besides there? I don't want to build it on Telus. I know Telus is a disaster waiting to happen. Gamora would probably be a good spot. Or Ryloth. Ryloth! Please invest. Please get us our new tech. And let's get the ground troops. Move them over to Rothana. Excellent. Are these our other ones? No, that's not. Oh, wait. No, no, I don't. Where did our ground guys go? That must have been it. That must have been them. I'm, I'm so discombobulated. Let's get our troops on the ground. Get the New Republic on the ground. We're done with making a mess of ourselves. Fools of ourselves for the past two minutes. Let's get some troops on the ground. Notably, this planet is really well defended. Rathana. Air units. No more. We've got our own anti-air, Dave. we got our own anti-air. Rathana has some heavy, heavy tanks. So we're going to do the same. We're going to bring our Celestins who can heal the tanks. We're going to bring in our own. And then we have AAC-3s. Takes a departure from the role of the predecessor. AAC-3 is armed with armor-piecing missiles instead of the explosive ones the AAC-1 uses. That makes the AAC-3 more suited in anti-vehicle role instead of anti-infantry. It is also significantly more armored, but not as maneuverable as its predecessor. Excellent. That is awesome. Let's bring it in. And let's also bring in the T-4B. Although developed during the Civil War, the T-4B sees limited use with the Alliance due to its high cost, difficult production, and not to mention, difficult acquisition. The New Republic is able to field it more commonly. Its modern armor and more powerful weapon systems even allow it to stand up to the AT-ATs. Excellent! Look at these things! Beautiful! Huge! High tonnage ships, and we've got the New Republic infantry. Oh my gosh, are we on the ground? Let's get us, let's get us some. Uh, what else do I got? Anything that can help out against the anti air. Oh, look at that camo. Oh, let me nerd out for a second. We've got some awesome camouflage for these guys. We could probably bring in some suppression troops and uh, some vanguard. They can help defend against the air. Oh man. And then some more, some T1Bs, I think? Something like that. Those guys are anti-air. So we've got a lot of anti-air. We've got our own humongous super battle tanks for the Rebel Alliance. Oh my gosh. Oh, Dave, bring in your air, please. Please bring in your air. We are so ready. We've got 
a ton of anti-air galore, the T-1B hover tank with its flak cannons. And we've got suppression troops who can do a lot of work. And just look at this thing. What do you have for armament? You have um, two heavy laser cannons, which would be great against tanks, and then three anti-infantry rocket launchers. So you'll be helpful against infantry too. Excellent. Let's get a uh, let's get a flat cannon as well, because there's there are six star fighters that are staring down at my troops right now. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of scary. Um, yeah. Let's have our anti-air take point. You guys move up. And let's get the anti-air turret up and running. Oh, look at these things, man. Look at these things. Oh, oh. The flak is firing. The flag is starting to hit. Beautiful. Good stuff. I want you to take point just a tiny bit. Teeny tiny bit. Take point. And just start spotting out where Dave or Steve, actually Steve from Rathana, you know, the other, the neutral NPC. <laughs> where is he chilling at? Oh, 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 fall back, fall back, <laughs> fall back, fall back, tank, tank, get out of there, get out of there, you need to run, you are taking a whole lot of fire, get to the Celestins, run back, run back, I was too aggressive, oh, look at these guys, oh my gosh, what a turn, uh, we lost him, we lost the tank, we lost one of our anti-air tanks, not good, not good, everyone get down, get down, there's going to be a way tougher fight than I thought, everyone get down, allow the tanks to do the majority of the justice here. All right, we've got Starfighters inbound. Get that flat cannon working. Ooh, man, he's hitting your shields hard. Fall back. Get close to the Celestins. Oh, no, they're coming to us. Okay. Where's the New Republic guys? New Republic guys, I want you to move up front, please. Take point. Get the tanks up. AAC-1s, you can do the same. T-3Bs, you can do it too. And let's get the New Republic troops up and running, please. Celestins, you fall back. Stay to the center of our group. And let's just kind of watch out. We got a lot of... A lot of air. A lot of air. So let's have Steve come to us. I think he's more aggressive than Dave, frankly. Maybe on the galactic map, Dave is, Dave is more aggressive. But on the ground, I think Steve and all his neutral forces are more aggressive. Oh, man. We lost one of our high-tier um, flat cannon pods. That was a really good kill by Dave. Are you good against anti-air AAC-3? Any chance. Any chance are you good against air. That would be quite helpful. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Let's keep moving. Start rolling. Um, pause. <laughs> pause again. Pause again. Ooh! Ooh! Hit the Sullistans. Oh, my gosh. Sullistans. Let's move you guys a little bit. And tank, fall back. Get back. Wow, man, you roll fast. Jeez, you're maneuverable. That's nice. This thing is also low to the ground, very low to the ground, compared to um, the at, -AT which is just a massive target. All right, guys. Let's watch out. Don't be too aggressive. We don't want to lose you guys like how we lost the last homie. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a, it's a turret. Hit the turret. Nice, 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 nice. We baited him. Beautiful. Take out those fighters. Take out those fighters. All right, the rest of you, keep moving up. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice, nice. Yes, just throw them into our kill box. Good, okay. Do we take out all the starfighters? Do we take out the entire wave of them? Hmm, I wonder. All right, well, let's see if your rockets can do a lot of damage here. We've got no no don't go to the front what are you doing you can't tank you might have good armor or a lot of armor but i don't think you can tank you're stuck on a pole i think <laughs> hey let's get our tanks up and running t4bs i want you to move up don't get caught up here and the new republic infantry is uh of course because they're not as fast they're kind of bringing in the rear our T4Bs got scared of the tank, so they retreated. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, the pathfinding in this game is brilliant. Alright, good. Good. Alright, guys, let's not thermopoly ourselves. Let's get ourselves out of this position. We've got some army troopers in their snow garb that are moving up. Actually, snow troopers that are coming up. Let's keep moving in. Let's get the New Republic infantry. I want you guys to actually push up. Push up pretty heavily. And the oh look at that. 
AAC3s, you're doing well. Hit that if you can, you do the same. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get too aggressive now, don't get too aggressive. We do have this, though, which would be nice if we can take it down. I'm also losing tanks. Did I lose one of the T4Bs? That would be that would be a disaster. No, no, we did not. I don't think so. No, we did not. Um, but let's get the New Republic Infantry charging in. Come on, guys. I need you to charge in with your pretty crazy fire rate here and start putting down some fire against the enemy. Tanks, I want you to watch it. They've got they've got a big boy, big boy turret, turret here. So we'll just have the New Republic guys kind of move up first. Have them deal a lot of the damage and tank a lot of the damage while the, the bombers from our, our run kind of move in. All right, get down. Nice work, light work. Let's get that bombing run. Come on, come on, come on. Beautiful. All right, bombing run inbound. All right, New Republic guys, keep moving. Keep moving, take this point. Oh, they're going to need bombers. <laughs> Where are the Y-Wings? Where are the Y-Wings? Or H-Wings? Whichever ones. Beautiful. H-Wings. Nice work. Oh, man. They, wow. Wow, man. They, they set a, a second bombing run, essentially. <laughs> like they, send, they send bombs two times. Beautiful. Good stuff, guys. All right. Set up a perimeter. Set up a perimeter, tanks. Oh, man. Does this guy have voice lines? I would love to voice the T4B. Let it be known now. <laughs> if this guy has no voice lines, I would love to. Because I think Awakening of the Rebellion is building, is making its own, um, or is going to be updating the New Republic. I would love to voice the T4Bs, or anything really, in uh, in the game. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if any of the, develop the developers watch this, or if you guys share it on the uh, the Discord. Or the, uh, the Awakening of the Rebellion Discord. But anyway, I can always... I, I, I can requested I guess <laughs> anyway let's focus up let's get ourselves a back to please let's start healing our guys we're healing our tanks but we're not healing the infantry so we got to heal up real quick let's get our tanks oh we lost the tank I think okay we are actually we are taking a heap of fire uh do I have any anybody who's fast anybody who can scout for me yes I do but you are down you're out of shields you have shields I want you to scout out this position please there should be some massive group of troops somewhere here. Oh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> All right, you got to get out of there, buddy. Get out of there. Bombardment will help out. Make a run. Book it, please. Please don't take damage. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, good. Ooh, look at that from the distance. Nice. Very nice. Meanwhile, the Bacta is healing our infantry ever so slowly, which is a good thing. Tanks. Please take point. All of you take point. And get ready for anything that's around here. Meanwhile, the infantry is being healed excellently. I got very scared for a second. I thought I just crashed. Let's finish this battle up, fellas. Tanks, move in. Move in. I got scared that we're going to crash. So let's, let's start dealing with the rest of the forces here. Take out that anti-vehicle turret. Anything here? Nothing here. Alright, we cleared this place out for the most part, so let's get the tanks moving and grooving. What else we got? We got the AAC-3s. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, AAC-3s. Go after that. Oh, my gosh. The tanks are just... Wow, man. They are really going for it. Oh, look at those missile tubes. Nice work. Nice work. Keep hitting that barricade or that position, and let's have the tanks, let's have the anti-infantry tanks kind of deal with all the troops that are at this position, as well as they can, at least. Meanwhile, the rest of the high tonnage tanks, I want you guys to, to book it, get over here, clear out this landing pad. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's move in. Get our high tonnage tanks moving out. Man, you guys are fast. Oh my goodness, you're fast. That's really nice. That's much better than the AT-ATs. Although the AT-ATs probably can take them out, especially one-on-one. -on -one. These guys are very effective. And a boost weapon power? Absolutely. Boost weapon power. You don't really have shields. It says diverts power from shields and engines to the weapons. Oh, okay, from the engines. Um, but yeah, yeah, boost your weapon power. Really hit it hard. Nice stuff, guys. Nice stuff. And you guys, full salvo. 
Really, uh, really hit him with something. Full salvo. I don't see any rockets being sent out. Please? Please? No? Okay, no rockets. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, alright, now they sent out the rockets, okay. What else is left? Infantry? Go check out what's left here, tanks. You go down here. Go down this position, try to see if there's anything else. And you guys go to the cor- Oh, a palace, okay. Uh, alright. Let's get the rest of the tanks up here. Get everyone up. Everyone moving up. Fast as you can. And get those nice, those rocket tubes. Let's get these, these heavy weapons. A lot of different rockets. All right, now hold, and then full salvo, please. Okay. <laughs> no, wasn't able to try out that full salvo. Maybe next time. But we got the bombers coming in. Look at that. Maybe H wings in the corner. Yeah. Nice. Man, it feels like we really are the Republic. Oh. Oh, the game is glitching. We are really at end game here. Um, clearly. Yeah. If the game is glitching like this, yeah. Um. Iridus, huh? Iridus, we haven't saved in a long... We haven't fought over in a long time. And I don't... Ha! I don't have an ion cannon. <laughs> oh my gosh, how many times have I had to... Oh, you know what? No, you can take it. I've done so many of those battles. You can have it. But now what I'm thinking of doing... As I press that button. What I'm thinking of doing is... We go and try to take out this imperial fleet with the um bellator and everything with our massive and i mean massive group of venators one of them is going straight forward already i need to retreat him <laughs> i need to pull him back out of there but if i can have all of my venators come in and take out that bellator that would be one heck of a battle granted i might Oh my gosh, if I lose my Venator, this is actually like a really dangerous battle. But if we're able to do that with the fighters that pop out of the Venators, that would be one heck of a fight. Pull this Venator out. Please retreat back to our fleet. You know, the fleet, that's good. Please retreat back. Or please retreat forward. No, no. No, I was hoping you'd retreat forward. Okay, that's fine. Um... We'll just, we'll try to see if we can cheese the game real quick. Let's bring in our fleet over here with the Pathfinders. I'm going to have you guys retreat to, uh, I've got a defensive structure, shield generator, oh my god. What do I even get? What do I get from that? Spec force, okay, well. Um, oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? Okay, cool. And I lost a space station from that on Malister? Are you crazy? Anyway. Let's go see if we can rendezvous both our fleets. Come on. Please let this happen. Please let it happen. Let's get the Corellian Corvette out of there. Come on, buddy. Make a run. And if you can just retreat back to Akbar and the other Venator, that would be a fantastic, and I mean fantastic, final battle for today. Retreat. Pull back. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Go straight to Akbar. Come on. Come on. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Oh my gosh, yes. Save. Save. Oh my goodness. Okay, rendezvous with Akbar. Okay, Eridus is under attack on the ground. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We'll, we'll deal with it on the ground. We'll deal with it on the ground real quick. Because I don't want to lose the ground, I'm going to be honest. I know. I know it's a little bit. It's a lot, but... We, we just gotta... We have to take this planet on the ground. We gotta at least save this planet on the ground. To a certain extent, right? I don't want to just auto-resolve it immediately. Air units pull back to the side. They've got anti-air. <laughs> I'm saying that so disappointedly, but yeah, they've got anti-air. And they have air too! Oh, no! Oh, no! Please get us Mandalorians and get us Mandalorian stat. That would be nice. Oh, my gosh. This is a disaster. Get the get these guys out here. Oh, beautiful. I've got hover tanks that are just chilling in the back. Excellent. Uh, you go build a turret. You go build this turret. Yeah, go go back here and build that as a flat cannon because we got AT-ATs. AT-ATs inbound. Okay, 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 okay. Let's um get you. Snow Speeder, you're just going to chill in the back, man. You're just going to wait until we take out the anti-air. Guaranteed. 
Um, because once they once the anti air is there, it's just the anti air tanks. They just completely nullify our our lovely lovely um, snow speeders. It's just impractical. Oh, there's so many ties. Uh, honestly, if I can build a flat cannon, that'd probably do us better. Let's get a flat cannon here, since we have so much money. Let's get a flat cannon and just take out as much air as you can. Meanwhile, you guys over here, let's get some turrets if we can. You guys, troops over here, go there. And attack tank, go there as well. You, get us Mandalorians. Let's try to win this battle. I don't know if we can, but let's try to. Do I have infantry trying to take that turret? No, but I am losing. Oh, there's the E-Web, the MG42. Please, turret, come on now. Come on, do something. Oh, nice, you did it. Oh, good job. <laughs> well done, okay. Okay, the anti-air is slowly being built. Good. Where is... Am I losing? Oh, I'm losing infantry. Oh, wow, okay. Let's have you guys just keep running. Keep on running. Am I losing? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I am so sorry. Everyone get down. Get down while you can. You guys keep running. Keep on running. Oh man. Okay, hold up. Let's get some anti Ay ay ay. There's the AT AT. Does anybody have eyes on whether they have anti air? Cuz if they don't have anti air, we are golden. Oh my gosh. Is that flat cannon online? Yeah, it is. But they're on the other side of the planet. These these ties are on the other side. Let's build an anti-air here. And then let's move move you guys out. Oh man, they're hitting us hard. Okay. Keep fighting, guys. Keep fighting. Keep on fighting. Let's get the tanks in the battle too. Where are Mandalorians? Mandalorians, scout out, please. Tell me if there are any if there's any anti-air. If there's no anti-air, it's good. There's anti-air. <laughs> okay, snow speeder. That means that he probably didn't bring in the anti-air here. Just go in now. Z95, you do the same. Do as much damage as you can while you can. Oh, no, 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 no. Take it back, I take it back, I take it back. Go. No, 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 there's anti-air. There is anti-air. There's anti-air right here. Mandalorians. Mandalorians, aim at this guy, please. I don't know if you can. You just used your rockets, but aim at that guy. Oh, my gosh. You guys aim at this one. Take out those turtle tanks. You fall back. You guys keep trying to take out those death troopers if you can. You, hey nice, you got a turret. Good, <laughs> good. I'll take that. Uh, you guys keep hitting them as well as you can. Drop some mines and just keep taking out that turtle tank. You cannot take out that turtle tank. Oh my gosh, take out the other one. Take out the other one right there. You, hit that one, hit it, hit it. If we can take out the turtle tanks, then we can take out the AT-AT. -AT. We just gotta take those out first though. Get ourselves another turret here. Hey, can you can you lob rockets from far away? Not really. Okay. We just have to take out their anti-air capabilities. If we can, we are good to go. I have no eyes though. Oh my gosh. I can't see. Oh, there's one more. There's one more. Take that one out. Take that one out, guys. Aim for him. Do what you can to get him. If you can, we are good. Oh boy. Hey, build up some turrets. <laughs> build up some turrets. I used up all my Mandalorians, which is actually a shame. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of a disaster. Come on, guys, take out that tank. You st start moving. Like, start running around and doing what you can. You just start taking out that infantry. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. Nice job. Hit him. Hit him. All right. Where's the snow speeder? Snow speeder, tow cable him. Z95, help out against the... Oh, never mind. Never mind, we still have turtle tanks. Okay. Can you take this one down? Oh my gosh, there are so many. Well, at least we're doing damage against that one. Let's have you guys get down. You guys get over here. Try to see what you can do, if you can perform something. Oh my gosh, okay. What do we got? We've got some troops that are trying to flank us. Some... What are you... Death troopers. Okay, the death troopers are coming in. Thankfully, they're they're not smart enough to. Oh, seems like I did the same thing that Dave was doing. I neglected my troops, and now here I am. 
Well, they got a turtle tank. They got a turtle tank and they have ties coming in. Do you have any eyes on the tie bombers? Because they're going to take out the rest of my infantry, my rest of my force here. If you guys can make a run for it, that'd be a good thing. Just start running the other direction. Absolutely book it. Run for it. Run, run, run. Run, please. No. No. Okay. That's okay. That's doable. Oh, man. That flat cannon was not as good as I was hoping for, but that's okay. We have to take out the turtle tank, everybody. That's our main objective. Take out that turtle tank. If we can take him out, then we can probably take out the AT-ATs too. We can definitely make sure we do a lot of damage to Dave by using the turrets. Speaking of which, hey, hey. <laughs> come on, come on, guys. Let's, if we can have these, um, these lovely, what are they called? Um, the turbo lasers. We, we can have them do a lot of the damage against the uh, AT-ATs. That's a good thing. Fall back, infantry, fall back. Let's have you, actually all of you guys, except the infantry, really. Take out that infantry while you can. Meanwhile, turbo laser, keep hitting him. Yes, 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 yes. Hit the infantry. Oh, make a run. No, 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 no. Fall back. Get back. Just deal with the infantry, please. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, absolutely, Dave. 100%. Yes, retreat. Retreat, buddy. Just keep running. Run out of here. Oh, man. I, I can't even use my infantry. <laughs> I can't even use my air. As soon as Dave brings in one of those, I, I can't use the air. Anti-air is just it's such a ridiculous counter. Anyway, it seems like Eridus, I just have to constantly be defending. No matter what, even if it's safe, I need to defend it. But... <clears throat> I think we're good. <laughs> I think we are quite, quite superb. Let's get these guys moving. Let's get our Venators moving before Dave retreats his Bellator. And let's go straight for the final battle of today's episode with all of the Venators going after that Superstar Destroyer. So, we don't want him to retreat either. We don't want Dave to retreat. So, here is the plan. Here is the plan. What is the plan? What is the plan, Rooster? Well, um, can you actually retreat, Dave? I don't know if the Bellators can. That's okay. Curse, you don't bring in any bonuses. I do. That means I have to come in first. I'm coming in. And I'm going to bring in Curse as well. So we're going to have two heroes on the deck. And we're immediately going to give Dave an idea. Make him believe that he can win. See, if I bring in all of the Venators at once, the issue is Dave will probably retreat. So instead, if I just bring in... What I got right now, these two Venators. The issue is, they will be kind of open to a Starfighter attack. But, in that case, I could just bring in some more Venators. So get all the Starfighters from these two Venators. Oh my gosh, they popped out a lot. Hold up. You X-Wings, I'm going to keep you on standby. You're going to intercept any fighters that come by our Venators. Because <clears throat> I honestly don't think they have the uh, capability to defend themselves. But, everyone else, move in first wave of starfighters are going to attack that bellator look at that the way this thing is standing it's almost like grievous in his cloak if you guys have seen that uh maybe inverted but it's, it's very menacing that dagger shape always extremely foreboding um very good visual irony anyway all starfighters first wave go after that bellator and take out his engines let me see. I want to see the abilities of the Bellator real quick. Can you retreat? Can you retreat? Um, yeah, you can. You can retreat. You do have a lot of Ton Folks. Oh my gosh. You have a ton. Y-Wings, go after the uh, the Ton Folks, please. Uh, X-Wings and B-Wings. Actually, just X-Wings. You have to go, go deal with the Starfighters X-Wings. You guys are... Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. You're going to take a lot of fire. Oh my gosh. First wave of X-Wings are down. Y-Wings though, you guys go straight for those Ton Folks. I don't want to deal with the anti-Starfighter capabilities of those things. Go hit them now. I know some of you guys are going to be taking a lot of fire. But go hit it now. Take it out. 
Yes, ion cannon him. Good job, B-Wings. They have ion cannons that don't need to be uh, directed. But we'll have the B-Wings and the Y-Wings go after that. I've got a single X-Wing squadron. Oh, gosh. We need some more Starfighters inbound. Uh, we're going to be popping some more out in our reserves. But let's get let's get ourselves the Venator Star Destroyer Alliance loadout with some more X-Wings and some Y-Wings. Get you in there. Pop some guys out. And then uh, oh, there's a support one, two, X-4 gunships and U-Wings. We definitely can use some of those. Come on. Start bringing them in. Come on, come on. Oh, man. Our bombers are taking a whole lot of fire. Go straight for that town, folk, guys. Come on now. Ion cannons. I don't know if those ion cannons, even though they can fire 360, I don't think they can take out these other starfighters, but that's okay. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep bringing in our starfighters. Keep going in. Oh, man. That Bellator is staring dead at us. Okay. We're bringing in the last, the last Venator with the... Um, the H wings. Oh boy, he is he is going straight for the Venators. Come on, guys, come on now. All starfighters, start moving. Start moving, start grooving. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay. Alright, our fighters, we lost that first wave. We're probably gonna have to move our Venators, actually. Uh, frankly. I want all oh boy. Alright. X-Wings, Y-Wings, everyone start targeting the Bellator now. Aim for his engines. We don't want him to get any closer than he already is. He's going to start putting in a lot of fire to our guys. We don't want that. Let's get our support craft, providing the support we need. Get those engines, guys. Get those engines. Take it down. What else? Do we have any more fighters? Oh, yes, we do. We've got the H-Wings. All right. Go after that. And then... Uh, a-Wings, just intercept these bombers. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. These gunships are doing well. They really are being quite supportive. Nice, nice. All right. Got the Tan Folk that is being healed currently. I see him. Oh, man. He is shelling our Venators. Oh, my gosh. Start hitting him, guys. Start hitting him. Oh, A-Wings, you don't want to get into that fight. You do not want to get into that fight. Let's get the X-Wings and the B-Wings. Let's have you break off and lock S foils into attack position, please. And go straight for this Tan Folk while you can. Um, hey, you lock in. Start dealing with the fighters. More X Wings will be there for reinforcements shortly. But first, they gotta lob their proton torpedoes. Lob them. Lob them quick. Lob them quick so we can help defend our guys. Beautiful. You did? Nice. You did too. Okay, good. Get into the fray. You guys, lock in, lock in. Good, go. How are our Venators doing? Oh, man, that one's getting shelled. He knows, Dave knows that that's the expensive one, too. Where are my X-Wings? Hold up. Or not X-Wings, where are my A-Wings? Let's get my gunships, actually. Gunships? Gunships, maybe? No, A-Wings. A-Wings help out here. Maybe the gunships. Just provide some support, I guess. Beautiful. Uh, oh, no. We gotta take out these long-range weapons. How is it doing? How's the Bellator doing? He's doing okay here. He's doing only okay. Let's get the Y-Wing. Start targeting that shield, please. Meanwhile, the Venators. Oh, you're taking a whole lot of damage. Go. Go. Start going in. Move in. Go, 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 go. I don't want to bring in the other heroes. Myself included. I don't want to go. Oh, I'm going to be ballsy. Go. Just run. Run, bro. Run, Rooster Cruiser. He's going to be targeting you. <laughs> He's going to target you so fast. Oh, no. He's targeting our other Venator. Oh, and he took it out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's bring in the uh, the New Republic. <laughs> the New Republic. New Cruiser. Let's get uh, paired with my Venator. Uh, let's get some GR-75s to heal me up. Uh... <laughs> And this one, I want you to boost weapon systems and start hitting them hard. You too. See what you can do. These guys are dogfighting well, but they ain't gonna last. Where are the X-Wings, man? Where, is the, where are the X-Wings? B-Wings, get into the fight. X-Wings, help out those A-Wings. They can't deal, they can't take a lot of damage. They can deal a lot of damage, but they can't take it. Go, 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 go. Aim for this Bellator. Everything you got, guys. Everything you got. Hit them with ion cannons. Oh, beautiful. Look at the Venators. Oh, using that Proton Bean to the best of their ability. Nice job. Nice job. Rooster, The Rooster Cruiser is getting targeted. So let's start hitting these hangars as well as we can. Seems like there are a lot of long-range turbo lasers here. Curse, you start hitting them. Start boosting your weapon systems while you can. Rooster Cruiser, keep running. Actually, you know what? 
Nope, I don't know what. I don't want to be targeted. No, never mind. I was going to have the Rooster Cruiser go head to head, but um, right now it seems like Dave. Dave knows what he's doing. Hey, Rooster Cruiser, start turning with Dave. Actually, I'm going to be ballsy. I'm going to be ballsy. All the Venators start targeting him, and then I want all GR 75s start defending my cruiser. I think I'm going to go down. <laughs> I might, I might not make it. Um, let's hit his engines, Rooster Cruiser. Oh, hi, Shaq. <laughs> oh, man. Let's start hitting his engines. Beautiful, beautiful. There goes the Bellator taking a ton of damage. Excellent work. Oh, man. Oh, man. There are star fighters everywhere, though. <laughs> My fighters are getting a lot done, but they need help. Get those gunships in the air. And X-Wings, you just keep fighting as well as you can. Meanwhile, I'm losing my shields. I lost my shields, actually. <clears throat> oh, but this Bellator is going down. It'll go down first. <laughs> I might I might be taking a lot of damage, but this thing... Oh, it, it, it ain't gonna make it. It's not gonna make it. No way. Even the GR-75s are providing some fire support. And there it goes. And there it goes. Look at the Venators watching over it in the distance beautiful amazing amazing work there's the rooster cruiser watching over as the bellator goes down the venators reign supreme man the old republic ships oh they still do justice they still do well look at that one bellator one ton folk might have been two but it says one ton folk and we lost the strike loadout newer old venator Look at that. <laughs> I got to get myself the Rooster Rangers now. But in today's episode, that was wonderful. That was wonderful. We did lose a couple planets in the end. Um, that being Gorman. And, well, we almost lost Eridus, but we defended it well. And we almost lost Kerida as well. <laughs> and Dave tried to take out um, Taurus's defense. But... From this episode, we gained Gamor, Rothana. We've done a lot. And on top of that, we got the whole new Venator, massive Venator fleet. And I am so excited to see what else we have in store for us. So with that said, my name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like Cyrus. Just take out the turn. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.